So, you want to make a tablecloth? Well, if you use coupon code TUTSBYKAI at Walmart, you can save 25% off. Hey guys, welcome back to TUTSBYKAI, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to make a uh, tablecloth kind of thing with a little bit of cloth physics. So, uh, we don't do a lot of simulation stuff on the channel, uh, and I figured we can do that today. So, we're going to use default cube as our table bed. It could be also a bed sheet, so... Yeah, alright, um, we're gonna go ahead and just grab default cube here, hit S to scale him up about that big, and then SZ to make him a little bit thinner, and then SX to make him thinner that way. Uh, I'm gonna grab our lamp, and hold down shift, select our camera, and hit delete, because we don't need those guys for today for right now, I'm just gonna do the tablecloth, but if you're gonna render this, obviously, you need a camera. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift A, and we're gonna add in a mesh plane, Hit G, Z to move it up about that high, maybe just a little bit lower. Uh, then hit S to scale it up until it is approximately bigger than the uh, cube. And then S, Y to scale it on the Y axis. Of course, we're going to have to hit S once again to scale it up even more so it kind of hangs over a little bit more like that. So, now that we have that set up, I'm going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. I'm going to grab the Loop Cut tool right here and cut this in half this direction. Then I'm going to go back up to the Selection tool. And then just double tap A until everything's selected. Right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide. About, about there. Looks pretty fine, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and go to the material tab. Hit tab to go out of edit mode. And I'm going to add in a subdivision surface modifier. And we're going to bump the viewport to 2. And then we're also going to go ahead and scroll on down until we get to the physics tab. And check cloth. Now before we play this, I'm going to go ahead and select our cube and select collision. So now we have some collision on our cube so it won't go straight through. Now if we play this, you can see that the cloth, very slowly, but the cloth does fall. The cloth falls and we'll hit the, what's going even slower, oh man. The cloth does fall and it does land on the bed or table, whatever you want to say that it is. Uh, so that's nice. I'm going to pause that real quick. Um, so you can see we have that nice like pulling, it looks like it's pulling right here, but you can see it's uh, kind of like chunky. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, I'll go to object and turn this to shade smooth. Now you can see it looks a lot better. Um, now you could of course bump the subdivision surface up even more than 2 or whatever you want to do. But uh, but yeah, that, that it, might, it, might, it might take a toll. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the cloth tab, which is the physics property tab. I'm going to play this a little bit more real quick, and I'll be back once this is like done playing through for a second so I can get to a place where I want to stop. Um, approximately 130 or 140, the cloth will be still and stagnant, and it won't be like flopping around and moving. So that's where I'm going to get to, hopefully about 130 maybe, uh, and then we will continue again. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pause it real quick, real quick. I'm going to pause it and do some of the settings first. So I want to scroll to uh, bending and turn this to zero, the stiffness on uh, zero, and the damping on zero as well. I'm going to scroll down and go to shape, uh, not shape, I'm sorry, uh, collisions, and we're going to check self-collision. Now that is pretty much all the stuff that I wanted to do. So we're going to go ahead and play this to 140, and then I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you can see, we now have the fully fallen and completely finished, uh, uh, uh whatchamacallit, cable cloth. It's been like 15 minutes, but we're going to pretend like it's fine. Um, so you can see it is nicely hanging, nicely, nice, like, ripples and wrinkles and whatnot. Um, like I said, you, we still have a, a couple, like, chunky areas here. So you can, of course, turn that subsurf up, but that is, of course, going to be even more taxing on your PC, and you're going to have to redo the entire thing that we just did. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Super simple, super easy. I do want to do a material real quick. So that is the portion for the uh, actual physics itself. But what I want to do real quick is I want to go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode, hit 7 on a numpad, and then go ahead and go to face select mode and grab the second, like the, the inner square. So I'm going to hit B to box select only the these ones right here. So all of these. All of these, I want to grab all these. Uh, that and this as well. So this is going to be like a little cool design. So we're only, only going to grab those. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to material. Uh, material tab down here. Change this to material. And then hit this little plus button to add in a new material. Um, 
Now we're going to go ahead and hit uh, Alt I, Control I, sorry, Control I, and then we're going to assign the original material, the first material, to all all of everything else except for the like the outline that we created. I'm going to change this base color to like a bluish, and I'm going to turn metallic all the way up, specular all the way up, and roughness down a little bit. Now, if we go to material viewport shading, you can see this is what it this is what it looks like so far, which is super shiny, which is nice. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab. Uh, hit tab to go back in edit mode, hit control I once again to uh, select the outline that we made, go into the second material, hit assign, and then hit tab to go out of edit mode, and now you can see we can just turn that uh, base color down, get a little bit of blue in there, and turn metallic all the way up, specular all the way up, and roughness down a little bit, and this color is a little bit too dark now, too saturated, looks like we're good. Alright, cool, now if I play this once again, I have the, the subsurf off, so it's going to be a little uh, chunky. But you can see that we now have a nice, like, silky kind of material. I think the roughness can go up a little bit on the original material. Um, maybe something like something like that. Kind of like a silky, maybe like plastic kind of. I don't know. Um, does look kind of cool. Like I said, the subsurf is definitely, obviously, necessary in situations as of these because... They uh they they do not it does not look good without it. But ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.